What happens when we encounter a quadratic equation which cannot be factored? For example, x squared minus 4x minus 7 equals 0. Determine which two integers give a product of negative 7 and a difference of negative 4. Because 7 has only two factors, 7 and 1, and these two factors subtracted are 6 or negative 6 and not negative 4, like the middle term, the answer for this quadratic are not integers, but decimals. Finding which combination is correct would be a very lengthy and difficult task. To solve this quadratic, we turn to a process called completing the square, which involves making a perfect trinomial square out of the left side of the equation. Step 1. Move negative 7 to the right side of the equation leaving an empty space where the negative 7 was. Step 2. Take one half of the middle term, negative 4, and square it. Complete the trinomial square with this number by placing it into the empty space. One half of negative 4 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. Because 4 was added to the left-hand side of the equation, then 4 must be added to the right-hand side. Step 3. Factor the left-hand side of the equation as a perfect trinomial square. x minus 2 times x minus 2 equals 11. Two of the same, we square them. x minus 2 squared equals 11. Step 4. Find the square root of both sides x minus 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 11, which is 3.317. Add 2 to both sides to move the negative 2 to the right. x has two values, 2 plus 3.317 and 2 minus 3.317, or x equals 5.317, x equals negative 1.317. Now, if the quadratic has a leading coefficient greater than 1, divide the whole equation by the leading coefficient to reduce the leading coefficient to 1. Another example. Divide equation by 3. Move negative 11 over 3 to the right. Complete the square. 1 half of 5 over 3 is 5 over 6 and 5 over 6 squared is 25 over 36. Add 25 over 36 to both sides of the equation. Add right-hand side. Factor left-hand side as a perfect trinomial square and find the square root of both sides. x plus 5 over 6, which is 0 0.83, equals plus or minus the square root of 157 over 36, which is 2.088. Subtract 0 0.83 from both sides to move 0 0.83 to the right. x has two values, negative 0 0.83 plus 2.088 and negative 0 0.83 minus 2.088, or x equals 1.255, x equals negative 2, 921.